Oh, hey! Oh. So, you may have noticed that lately um, I've been concentrating on like pen turning and we got a lathe and I modified the lathe and blah, 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 blah. Um, but one of the things I want to do or that I, I figured out how to do is to make a little box for the pens, but it's not like an open and close box. It's more like a, the idea came to me from thinking of a cigar tube, like an expensive cigar comes, you know, you pop the top off and pull the cigar out. So I'm going to take this piece of bunk bed that I have left over um, and I'm going to make a cigar tube style pen box. And I wanted to show you guys how I did that. So if you want to, stick around and uh, let's check it out. So what I have here, we're going to end up drilling a hole through this entire piece here and then we'll glue on a bottom and then we're going to cut on the lathe a little cork, so to speak, to put in it. So what I'm using is a, quarter, a three quarter inch spade bit and you'll see me use that. I'll go through one side then flip it over the other so I have an all the way through hole. But you want to make sure that you have a wrench the same size as your spade bit and we'll see why later on in the video. Anyway, so I got a three quarter inch wrench, I got a three quarter inch spade bit. I'm gonna drill some holes through these blocks and uh, we'll go from there. Check this out. So um, now I'm going to make, well basically you saw me glue up a bunch of these and what I did was I screwed up and I cut these blocks only at 6 inches and they were too short so I made some more of them exactly the same but I made them 7 inches long so the pen actually fits down in there because I'm going to be making some of these little caps to go into the box and that's it and then we'll sand it and make it all pretty and all. So right now I'm making these little caps or knobs or whatever you call them go into there. And um, I have no idea really what I'm doing because I'm not like, I'm sure there's all kinds of safety problems I'm doing right now. As I stick in this block of wood, crank it down, I put the chuck thingy on here. But again, this lathe has like, you know, I mean, five ant power. It's not this miraculously, amazingly strong lathe. So I'm not too worried about hurting myself. Um, but let's check it out. I'm going to try and gouge it out and turn something. And, oh, and I'll also show you where the uh, three-quarter inch wrench comes in handy is when I'm checking the gauge of the size of that because we used a three-quarter spade bit to make this hole. So I'm going to I'm gonna whittle that down with the lathe and then check it with this wrench and then I'll know it's about the right size and it'll fit in there for a cap. Check it out.
So here's how far I've gotten. I've gotten the, uh, the little tops done for these guys, sanded those. What I'm going to do now is um, uh, sand these up and get them ready. And I think I'm just going to put a coat of wax on everything and then we'll be done. But that's a simple pen box that um, you can make out of just some scrap, anything. This happened to be a bunk bed board piece. So. Next step, um, we're going to get the boxes themselves sanded, shaped, cleaned up, ready to wax, and we'll go from there. Check it out. Oh, hey, I was just um, posting to uh, Instagram. And anyway, so there we have it. Pen boxes. This is pretty cool. Pen goes in the box. Boom. This is what Casey and I gave out at Christmas time. She made the pens. I made the boxes. They're really simple. Um, they came out pretty. Just a wax over the raw wood. Let them dry for a little bit, and I'll wipe them down, buff them out again, and uh, they're ready to go. But They'll fit just about any size pen with the way the three quarters spade bit anyway. A hole and a piece of wood, glue an end on it, make a top, pen box. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. We'll check you out later. And don't forget, listen to Reclaimed Audio with my pod mates, Tim Sway, Bill Penske, and I. Uh, comes out every Wednesday. And uh, I love you all. See ya.